Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa. If you're new here, um, welcome. So I'm actually starting to run late um, for work, but I need to get all of these potatoes peeled, chopped, and soaking in a salty brine so that way when I get home, they'll be easier to work with. I am going to be making mashed potatoes. Um, and pork chops. These potatoes I got from the food pantry, so they were free. And I also got a bunch of pork chops from the food pantry for free. They gave us four packets of four pork chops, so we have a ton of pork chops. Um, so I already washed like the outsides of them, and I'm peeling them, and I'm putting all of the peels in my compost jar because I don't want to make potato skins this week. Otherwise, I would put them in a freezer bag and do that but I don't feel like having potato skins this week and my garden needs some compost so I am just peeling these and peeling these and peeling these and I'm gonna try and see if I can get a better angle for you guys just one second so this is kind of a better angle right um I'm just peeling them. This is probably not the best way of peeling them, but it works for me. So that's why I'm doing it. Um, do what works best for you is what I usually say, you know? So peeled in here. Yes, I take off my ring when I'm cooking most of the time. <laughs> um, so Okay, so all of the peels are now in my composter. Oh, I missed one actually, I lied. I need to empty this again. <laughs> there we go. I already sharpened my knife, so now I'm just gonna start chopping these potatoes. And I take the skins off just because it's easier for my son right now. Um, he's still like not used to all the textures of things and I like to try them with skins on every once in a while for him but he's just not there yet so I'll try and show you what I'm doing oh I dropped a potato it'll go on my compost it's fine I mean these are going to be mashed so I'm not like cutting them all the same size because it doesn't really matter when I mash them usually. Um, but if I was like frying the potatoes, obviously I'd want to make them all the same size or roughly the same size. These ones I'm not entirely caring. So again, do what works best for you and always practice safety with your knives. My cord is getting in the way. I need to invest in one of those um microphones you know which okay i picked it up and just showing you it is going in my compost jar i've had too much coffee today so my potatoes are all in this jar and i'm just gonna go ahead and open up my salt to like the big one put plenty of salt in here and then i'm gonna put some cool water in here and just let them sit I only have a four hour shift today, so it's not going to be too bad. Please excuse these dishes. I just washed them. I'm just going to get some cool water and just put them all over my potatoes. And I'm going to let them soak. Also, shout out to my father-in-law for getting me this um, super cool faucet. So this is kind of what they look like. Sorry, the lighting is like super odd. Um, I am just using literally this lantern, so just kind of massaging them a little bit. I don't know why. I don't know what it does. Yeah, just massaging them. Mm. Yay. All right, and I will see you guys in about four hours when I get off of work. So it's actually been more like four and a half hours. I just got off work now. Um, and I'm going to drain and rinse my potatoes. 
All right, let's go ahead. Oh, I dropped a potato. It's fine. Let's see. Just massaging them while they're in the bucket of water. Just trying to rinse them. And then I'm going to refill it with water just for um, about an hour longer. So. I forgot how many potatoes I even used. I um, really hope I used enough wasn't entirely paying attention. Honestly, I love potatoes. I would probably eat everything by myself. So, I will see you guys again in about an hour. I want to show you. This is what the potatoes look like right now. I should have showed you the before, but it was very cloudy. And there were some floaty bits. Um, that's just like normal dirt and starches and stuff. So... So it's been a little bit longer than an hour. It's probably been like an hour and a half. This is what the potatoes currently look like. I'm draining them and I'm going to go ahead and put new water in the container that I'm going to use to actually boil them. Also, yes, I have dirty dishes. One of those was clean and then it fell in the sink. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my potatoes in here. Yes, this is a big pot. Um, don't judge me. Adding some water. I'm also going to add a few, like, things in there just to give the potatoes some flavor while they're boiling. And I'll show you exactly what I add. Sorry, I'm tired, so if I sound monotonous, that's why. I think that's going to be enough water. So I went ahead and just turned it up to, yes, it's dirty, don't, don't judge me. Turned it up to, like, a medium-high-ish level. And now I have some salt that I'm going to go ahead and add. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have some salt right here. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of it to, you can't really see it. Oh well. I have some oregano. Going to add a little bit of oregano. And then just my garlic powder and my onion powder. Obviously, you don't have to season your water. I season mine. Everybody's different. Everybody's so creative. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to mix it up. This is what they look like after it's all mixed with the seasonings in there. And now we're just going to go ahead and let it boil. Let them get all soft and everything. And yeah, that's going to be our mashed potatoes. Well, obviously they're not done yet. I don't know why I said that's our mashed potatoes. Those are our cut potatoes that are going to be boiling in some water. So, yay, A++. Okay, so the potatoes are getting close to being done. So I'm going to start prepping my pork chops, which these pork chops I also got from the food pantry. But I know that pork chops aren't normally very expensive. I am kind of stabbing this a few times because I notice that some of the frozen pork chops that I've gotten before in the past from various different places have been kind of um, tough, you know, so to speak. And I don't want a tough pork chop. I want a nice non-tough pork chop <laughs> so i'm also just going to go ahead and season both sides with all of my usual seasonings so garlic powder onion powder salt um, coarse ground black pepper and then i'm also going to add a little bit of turmeric just because i like the flavor that turmeric brings to um to pork so I'm just going to show you how I do this first one and then I'm also just going to go ahead and do like a, a speed through of the other ones that I'm going to do. So this is one pork chop completed and I'm just going to try and pat these seasonings in pretty well 
Yes, I am using my hands, but don't worry, I do wash my hands quite frequently when I cook. So, that is one pork chop seasoned both sides. I'm going to set it aside and get my other ones done. And um, I'm, I'm filming it, but I'm going to like have it sped through, so... Okay, so this is a bit of a bad angle, but I had some oil on the pan heating up here. Um, so that way I can lay my pork chops down. So now I'm just going to go ahead and lay two at a time down, actually. So I'm just going to have them start cooking on both sides. And these are my potatoes, so I'm going to go ahead and take these off. Oop. I don't want to burn myself and I'm gonna go ahead and try and adjust the camera really quick one second okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and strain my potatoes don't worry I emptied out my sink there are literally only two items in here and they are not anywhere close to what I am currently doing okay all right, and then the rest I'm going to go ahead and dump in here because I washed this. Okay. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put those in there. These sound like they are really cooking over here. And then I also have some brown gravy, just a packet, that I'm going to go ahead and make in a minute. Um, these are usually less than a dollar. Um, sometimes you can get these from food pantries. Um, this one was not from a food pantry. So everything else that I've gotten minus the seasoning, so the pork chops and the potatoes, those I all got those from food pantry. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some garlic powder and some salt. Is this still open? Yeah. I don't see anything coming out. Very difficult getting salt out of this. I think I need to puncture this more. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Okay. I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm going to add a little bit of almond milk and uh, some butter. And then I'm going to go ahead and mash them. So one second while I go get those. Okay, so... I got my butter out. It's a, it's a stick. I'm not using a whole stick. I'm using probably two tablespoons. So, and by probably, I mean that's how much I put in so far. And then I'm going to go ahead and add like a splash. I don't have a regular masher. Um, what do I have that I can mash this with? Let me see. Ooh, these pork chops look great. I have already flipped them just now, actually. Um, they look good. Let me see if this whisk is strong enough to mash these. Oh, yeah. These are going to be some good mashed potatoes. Please. 
These look really good. It smells good. Okay, so the pork chops are getting closer and closer to being done. Um, these ones, this one is done. So I'm taking this one off. That looks good. Doesn't that look good? That looks so good to me. Um, this one's just about done. Probably needs a few more seconds. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and add this one to the pan. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the gravy in here. That way it gets some of the flavors from this. And yeah, so that's going to be dinner. It's almost done. Hooray. Okay, so I made the gravy. I did not film me making the gravy because I just followed the instructions on the package. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and plate this. So I went ahead and put one nice sized um, pork chop on there. I already made the babies. I did put gravy on his pork chop um, just because, I don't know, I don't know if he would eat it without the gravy. Um, anyways, let me just try and get positioned here. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and get this and spoon it. Ooh, if I'm in frame, should have used a different spoon. Not, I'm still not in frame. Jeez. Okay, one second. There we go. I'm like afraid I'm gonna drop gravy all over the place or something. Okay. Still not in frame. Also, yes, those are graham crackers. Okay. Now I'm just gonna do a good spoonful on the pork chop just to I guess be fancy I don't know okay and then I'm just gonna go ahead and make my plate and be done with it okay so David and I both got pretty good sized mm -hmm. bites I have a uh, pork chop and mashed potato on here cheers cheers mmm it's okay I'm just gonna Johnny no oh He's been in the habit of tipping his plate over lately. But it's good. I like it a lot. I feel like it's still mm. just a little chewy. I think I might have overcooked it a tad. Not as bad as I usually do. Because um, I'm I'm normally really horrible at cooking pork chops. They're normally very no, chewy. Mm, well, in my opinion, I it's very hard for me to have like a nice moist non-chewy pork chop these are pretty moist they're actually pretty tender they're not as chewy as a lot of other pork chops i've had they're still just a little chewy though uh i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and then i'm gonna take the photos for the thumbnail and and uh yeah i guess that's it for the video feel free to subscribe um most of this stuff was from the food pantry. This was a very inexpensive meal for us. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. I think we ended that up... so good. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Well, anyways. Um, <laughs> thank you, guys. I will have links to my social medias and stuff uh, down in the description as well as a few people who follow, subscribe, and support me. People that I'm friends with. Um... And then also some TikTokers that I support. Um, hopefully TikTok doesn't get banned. Fingers crossed. Mmm, gravy. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.